So the location I'm currently in is probably best known for a series of film footage and photos that was taken on the morning of D-Day from US Army cameramen who had come ashore from Utah Beach. Now it's known as Marmion on Farm, but back in 1944, this place was Stopka's stronghold. So on the morning of D-Day occupying the farm were members of Grenadier Regiment 919, part of the 709th Division uh, from the Germans. And on the morning of D-Day, a lot of misdropped sticks from 3rd Battalion, 502nd, and some elements of the 506 ended up in this very location. Now, after a brief firefight, six Germans were killed and approximately 24 taken prisoner. Under the command of Major Stopka, uh, who was from 3rd Battalion, 502nd Parachute Infantry Regiment, this place became a beacon for all the other misdrop 101st paratroopers in this location. And it also uh, saw troops from Utah Beach, which is only a couple of miles away from this location, end up here. And the footage they recorded is probably some of the most famous. There's members of Easy Company in it, um, some of uh, the first captured swastika flags as well. And it's now become a place of pilgrimage for anybody who is interested in the 101st Airborne Division. The farm itself is, um, as you can see, in pretty much the original condition that it was back in 1944. And frankly, it's just a lovely place to visit because of it being so untouched and still very authentic. So if you've enjoyed this uh, short film about Marmion Farm and Stopka's stronghold, please don't forget to hit that like bell to get updates on all new content from World War II Wayfinder. And please, as always, subscribe and comment if you've got any experiences of visiting Marmion Farm and seeing this place firsthand for yourself. See you in the next one.